welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well. Um, this video is going to be my monthly favorites for April, and it's my first official like monthly favorites video. So I'm super excited to share with you guys um, some products I'm loving and some new products that I picked up that I was just trying out for the month. And yeah, so if you're interested in seeing my monthly favorites for April, please stay tuned. Otherwise, hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. So um, let's just get right into it. Um, the first product I wanted to talk to you guys about um, are actually jewelry. And they were a jewelry line, I believe, that Carly Bible just recently um, launched not that long ago for charity. Um, she was sponsoring girls in Cambodia who were um, maybe not being able to go to school or a little bit less fortunate than those around them, and she really wanted to put together some scholarships to be able to help the less fortunate, and I just think that is such an amazing thing to do, and I couldn't wait to place my order um, for two of the bracelets, and they came in this really beautiful um, box, and it says... Um, Pravana Beauty, which I believe is going to be Carly Bible's new um, name of her new makeup line that she's going to be launching soon, and um, I just thought that she did a really amazing job. Um, my husband and I really enjoy supporting charities, and we always feel like it's very important to give back to not just your community, but um, those that just are less fortunate than you, and when we travel, we always try to bring things or... Um, you know, visit places where we can buy food for people or whatever we're able to do. We're not rich by any means, but um, anything helps, and we're very appreciative that Carly did this this project. This is so great, and big props to her. Um, I really like Carly and everything she stands for. I really feel like she's super motivating, super positive, and just a big shout out to Carly for doing this project. So the first bracelet that I chose was the Energy Bracelet, and it's um, in this really beautiful, like, bronzy gold, and it looks like it has, like, a jade-colored yellow, or excuse me, green stone, and I love to wear it with anything gold, and I just paired it um, with my um, bangle bracelets that I actually purchased from the current custom, like, I don't even know how many years ago, um, but I believe they're the David Small Column hammered gold bracelets that are just cuffed. Um, and then the second bracelet that I picked up um, from Carly was the Hope bracelet. So each bracelet comes in a box like this, and then it gives a brief description of what each stone on the bracelet or the name of the bracelet means. So this is the Hope bracelet, and um, I actually picked this up for my sister, and um, I just think my sister will love this. It has a sentimental word meaning, um, and I think that she'll enjoy it. So, yeah. That's, that's the jewelry that I picked up. And then moving on to hair care products. Um, if you're like me and you're blonde, you know the struggle of trying to keep your hair healthy. Um, anytime you bleach your hair, you're damaging it. You are, you know, basically shattering the hair cuticle. Um, that's why sometimes you get like that kind of um, cotton candy look with your hair after you bleach it. It's just super damaging to the actual hair cuticle itself. So I really feel like to combat the damage, it's really important that you invest in good hair care products, um, or at least that's my philosophy. So whatever you're taking out of your hair, you definitely want to put back in. So a couple of the products that I really love um, to use on my hair, especially um, if you're doing like a lot of blow drying, flat ironing, or curling, this is a great product by Pureology. Um, I also use their shampoo. It is a multitasking hair beautifier, so it has 21 essential benefits, and I won't list them all, obviously, um, but you can see here all of these great things that this product does for your hair. Um, I've used this product for a really long time. I just repurchased this this month. Um, this is a pretty big bottle. This is 400 ml, and this runs around $41, and this is going to last me probably a year at least. Um, I definitely would recommend trying it. You just spray it in your hair when you get out of the shower, let it kind of, you know, absorb, and then just evenly brush through the hair. And I noticed a huge difference in um, the texture of my hair from using that. And then the next product is by a brand that is called Alterna, 
And this is our Caviar CC Cream. It's a 10 in 1 complete correction cream. It's a leave in hair perfecter. So you literally need, for someone with like my, I have baby fine hair, I use like a dime size and it's, um, it has 10 different ways to perfect your hair. It moisturizes, it, it creates shine, smoothness, smoothness, softness. It has UV protection from the sun. It offers manageability, strength. It um, helps with anti-breakage. It has a heat protectant and it has a hold in it. So this is really a great product. Um, it's 150 ml and the price on this was around $39. Definitely would recommend that. And then, excuse me one second. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with the Moroccan oil. Um, I don't particularly use Moroccan oil. I feel like it's too heavy for my type of hair. So I fell in love with um, the Shu Imora Art of Hair Essence Absolute. And this is a nourishing prote protective oil. And again, I use just the smallest amount, like a dime size, rub it through my hair, um, and then blow dry. And it just makes it really smooth without like a bunch of flyaways. So I love that. And then we will transition into skincare products. Um, so the next product I'm going to talk about, again, is going to be a Shu Imora product. It is a skin purifier and cleansing oil. I use this in the shower or the bath to remove my makeup before I wash my face. It is exactly what it says it is. It is a cleansing oil, so you just literally one pump, mix some water, it's going to get milky, apply it to where your makeup is, rinse your face, and you should be good to go. Great product, doesn't cause breakouts. Um, I highly recommend it. And then a fairly new skincare line that I've been using recently um, is by a brand called Pavonia. So Pavonia is a botanical line. I believe it's all natural plant-based products. And I was referred to this line by uh, my esthetician who does my facials. And um, it is their Moxie Caviar line. I use their, excuse me, their Timeless uh, Balm Cleanser, which is like a really beautiful, milky, um, soft scented cleanser. And then I use their Timeless Repair Lotion, which is actually a toner. I believe lotion in French is toner. And you just, you know, apply this with a little um, cotton pad on your face after you wash, and it preps the skin ready for any type of serum or lotion that you use. Um, I then follow up with the cream, which is their Timeless Repair Cream. Um, it's just, ugh, I, I can't get enough of the smell. It smells beautiful. It smells like you're in like a, a botanical garden. Um, I use this during the day. It's great. It's moisturizing. It hasn't caused me any like major breakouts. So I will report back to you guys probably next month um, in my favorites just to give you guys um, an update on that. And then... Just to jump in quickly into some makeup products, again, I've already talked about this pro uh, product in one of my other videos. It is the Cellular Rose Brightening CC Serum by Terry. This stuff is amazing. Um, I know I had mentioned to you guys in the last video that I really wanted to see how it worked during like hot months. Well, let me tell you, in Southern California this weekend, it's been like 90 degrees. Um, we took a drive yesterday out to Odo and Sons. I believe it's a rose nursery out in Fillmore. So beautiful. But it was literally like close to 100 degrees. And I had this on my face and it didn't melt. It didn't irritate my skin. Um, it just gave me like this beautiful bronze look. Love it. Definitely would recommend it. Um, another product that I've recently picked up is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. It's the Instant Complexion Refresh. It's in this really cool, like, purple. I probably just used way too much, I know. We're just going to, like, rub it in the hand here. Sorry, guys. Um, but it has almost, like, a little bit of an iridescent-y kind of finish. Smells super good. Um, it hydrates your skin. I tend to find when I use primers on my skin personally, they just dry me out really bad. And maybe it's just I've used the wrong primer, but this just works great. Um, just You can see it really just gives the skin like this really nice kind of sheen. So I've been loving that. And with that product, I've also talked about this in another video. It's the Guerlain. It's their Illuminar. Did I just say that? I totally said that. No. 
Illuminer, Rose, Pink Pearly Illuminator. Sorry, I was pronouncing it in the French way, and I probably totally just like destroyed that. But anyway, it is like this great um, illuminator that you put under your eyes. Um, and for someone like me who has just natural dark circles, it's just hereditary for me. Um, something like this is great. It is here. You can see it has like a nice reflective sheen. I definitely would rec recommend trying that out. And then something I found recently too, and I can't believe it's taken me this long to find it. I'm not sure how long it's been out, but um, it is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. This stuff is genius. Like, I love this. I love Becca in general. I feel like their products are just pretty natural, and I always tend to go for more of that natural look. But it's just like this really beautiful, soft pink, very hydrating, under eye illuminator. And again, I'm a sucker for anything that's going to help with my under eye issues. Um, yeah, so I've really been enjoying that. And then I picked up a cream eyeshadow at Ulta. And I, I was really surprised. I didn't know that their eyeshadows were made in Italy. So... This is the eyeshadow here. It is rose gold, and this is how it looks like. We'll swatch it really quick for you guys. Um, I'll put it down here. So here it is. Oh, that's just so beautiful to me. I love anything rose gold. You guys know I've already talked about it. I love rose gold. It just looks so rich, and ugh, I'm a fan. So. Last two makeup products I'm going to talk to you guys about are, this is a lip gloss from Buxom. Um, it is like their lip plumping um, line, and the color that I chose was Samantha. And I'm actually wearing it today over Sore Lip Liner by MAC. And it's just like this very natural kind of nudie, peachy color. You can see, like, I really like nudes. <laughs> kind of like, or bronzy colors, it's kind of like my favorite thing, but it just gives your lips like a nice plump, and I'm really a big fan of it, and then lastly for makeup, we're going to talk about a blush that I love, again, it's by Becca, who doesn't love Becca, um, it's their mineral blush in the color Flower Child, and again, we're going to talk about peachy, corally colors here, love that, I think it's going to be like amazing for um, the summer months. I'm just dying over that. And then lastly, I thought I would talk to you guys about a new fragrance that I picked up from Burberry. Um, it's a little bit heavy of a scent, I feel like, for maybe spring and summer, but it's definitely something you could pull off if you were to go out at night. And it's a limited edition. It just says Bur Burberry Limited, and it just has this really beautiful it kind of reminds me of michael by michael kors but it's maybe just a little bit more spicy than that um i went to four stores to find this don't tell anybody but yeah so anyway guys that's going to be my monthly favorites for april i hope you enjoyed my video as always thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule and your life to spend you know 18 to 20 minutes or less with me i appreciate that um, if it's your first time clicking on one of my videos, I would really love to have you as a subscriber. Please click the subscribe button. Um, as always, please leave me feedback, um, thumbs up or thumbs down. Um, I, again, I'm new to YouTube, so I'm learning, and I appreciate any feedback that you guys have to give me. And I really hope to see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. See you soon. Oh, my God. Can we talk about this brand new lip gloss that I actually just purchased? That was supposed to be in my monthly favorites for April. However, my dog just stole it, and this is what he did. So, yeah. Not sure if I'll be carrying this around in my bag, but, I mean, I think the gloss is still good, right? Yeah, so, shit. Damn dog. <laughs>